Hey there. Um, hello again from Brooklyn. Um, tonight, uh, without fail, I have three nights in a row, I'm uh, drinking a bottle of wine. Call me crazy. It's the coronavirus um, wine drinking pandemic here in my house. Um, tonight we're going to taste something local. I thought I would veer away from France and try something American, and not only American, but from New York State. Uh, this is a Tokai Friulano. Now, if you know anything about Italian wines, you might think, well, that's an Italian grape. It is, it is an Italian grape. This wine is from Channing Daughters Vineyards, Channing Daughters Winery in uh, Long Island, New York. Specifically, uh, these grapes come from Bridgehampton, where the winery is located, and also from some vineyards on the North Fork. Um, so Long Island is also known for its uh, winemaking. In New York, uh, we have a couple different AVAs, or American Viticultural Areas, um, that are known for quality winemaking. One is the Long Island AVA, and within Long Island, there are smaller viticultural areas, uh, which are allowed to uh, put their name on the label. We also, of course, have the Finger Lakes, which is way up north, um, near Rochester, Albany, that kind of area. Um, and then we also have uh, the Hudson Valley. Uh, I'm sorry to say that with a little bit of a, uh, but the Hudson Valley is known more for its uh, fruit wines, um, sweet dessert wines made from hybrids and um, indigenous grape varietals like um, think of Catalba and Niagara and Concord and things like that. Um, so you can have a lot of fun in, in the Hudson Valley, but personally, I like Hudson Valley cider, and there's also a lot of great um, distilleries up there, a lot of great beer up in the Hudson Valley too. So I don't want to give them a bad reputation. They're really, really great. But as far as quality wine growing regions in New York State, uh, Long Island and Finger Lakes is really my top two. Um, so this wine, Tokai Friuliano, Friulano, this is, I am so bad with Italian wines, so I probably will never do a review of an Italian wine, um, cause I will butcher it. But Tokai Friulano is a grape that's normally grown in the, um, Venezio region, which is northern, northeastern Italy. So a lot of like really higher acid, lighter white wines are coming from that area. Um, this of course is grown in Long Island, um, but it's the same grape. And Channing Daughters is great. I love these guys. I'm in their mailing club. So I get about two wines every two months. Um, they are very, very experimental. So a lot of the, the grapes that they work with in their vineyards and the wines that they do um, are not typical uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir. They do do some of those grapes, but they tend to do things like Blau Frankish and Tokai, and they do a Pinot Grigio with skin contact. Um, they do wines that are aged in clay amphoras. Um, they do some really, really cool stuff that you really just don't see um, in the United States, let alone in New York. Um, so I always have a really good time. Whether I like the wine or not, I always look forward to what I get in my in my um, wine club package because it's always going to be something a little bit different. They also make some sparkling wines, Pet Nats, Petulant Naturel wines, which are naturally sparkling uh, wines, which hopefully we'll get to talk about at some point. I don't have one now because usually I get it and I drink it so fast it's gone. Um, so this one, um, tonight I'm drinking out of um, what's called a Govino glass. Um, this one has probably been through the uh, dishwasher too many times, which is not supposed to go in the dishwasher. Um, but even hand washing it, it just starts to get a little bit scratched and not so great looking. But the idea is this thing is plastic, great for picnics, things like that, where you want to take it. They're very lightweight. You can throw them across the room and they won't break. Um, they have this nifty little, little indent here for your thumb. So, you know, God forbid you drop it because... I'm known for dropping things, so um, it just feels really good in your hand. And it's just, I don't know, it's better than a jelly jar, but not as pretentious as a wine glass, and sometimes that's all you need. So you can pick these up at Target, you can pick them up through Amazon, wine shops usually carry them, they usually come in like a pack of four for like 
I don't know, 25 bucks. Um, but I find these to be really fun just to like, you know, for a nice weekday glass of wine that's not too serious. Um, this wine retails, well, I get it through the wine club for about $25, I think is about what it retails for. And Tokai is known, it's a dry wine, but it's known for having these really almost tropical aromas and flavors. So um, maybe like a Viognier, maybe like a little bit similar to like maybe a buttery Chardonnay. If you like Chardonnay, you'd probably like this, this wine. It has a little bit of like notes of, um, of white flowers, pineapple, um, maybe a little bit of uh, white plum, kind of very floral fruity aromas on the nose. And on the palate, it's dry. So all the sugars are fermented into alcohol, but it's still light. It's got really crisp, bright acidity. So it makes your mouth water, remember? But the Vouvray, um, but it has some nice body to it. So I would say this is sort of a medium bodied white wine. This particular wine is aged in stainless steel, which really keeps the freshness of the fruit. And then about half the wine is aged in oak barrels. Nothing overly oaky or anything like that, usually just sort of a neutral oak barrel. Um, Channing Daughters has a great website where you can find every detail every technical detail about the wine they're super cool about that christopher tracy uh tracy sorry is the winemaker there and i had the pleasure of meeting him years ago um he was a graduate of um the french culinary institute and he was also a um diploma graduate from the wset the international wine center in new york which both of those i, I attended and uh, he's just an amazing guy he and his wife are both now partners um in the the winery out in uh out in long island and if you ever get a chance to go out there um it's a great place to visit they have a wonderful tasting room um and they have beautiful sculptures all over um their vineyards in fact one of their vineyards is called sculpture garden um and they have these beautiful sculptures metal and wood and oh, amazing uh, all throughout the um throughout the vineyards um they're also sus working sustainable as much as possible in their own vineyards um, they are, they don't claim to work organically, but sustainably. So what they're doing is trying to work with nature, with the microclimate of each vineyard to, to do what's best for that vineyard without putting any extra chemicals or pesticides, um, into the soil. So really getting sort of the best thing. I, I highly recommend if you're looking for sort of a local wine, um, or a domestic wine that's not California or Oregon, or um, check them out. So Channing Daughters, give you there. Let's see, we talked about alcohol before, so I should probably, 12.5. This is lower than the Vouvray that we tasted the other night. Um, so yeah, so if you like a sort of medium or unoaked Chardonnay, I think you're really gonna like this wine. And while you're at it, check out a Tokai Friulano from Italy and compare. It's sort of fun to sort of check out the same grape from two different countries or two different regions. Um, I always find that to be a fun game, you know, if you're if you're nerdy like me and like to play those kind of games. Um, anyways, I'm pairing this tonight with a um, vegan lasagna, tofu ricotta um, uh, lasagna which um, we have a vegan who lives with us. So I like to try out a lot of different vegan recipes. So uh, I think the sauteed mushrooms and there's some sauteed kales in there is gonna go really, really well with this. Um, if there's any left actually by the time that it's done cooking because it's uh, taken about an hour. Um, anyways, we'll crack something else open and we'll talk about it tomorrow. All right, have a great night, bye.